I'm Jeff Pospisil, the 10-Minute Treasurer with practical advice for improving your church's financial future. In this video, I'm talking about merging accounts in QuickBooks, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Um, so, and uh, this is talking about your chart of accounts. So if for whatever reason you have an account that maybe it's an old one, you redid your chart of accounts, or maybe you added one by mistake or whatever, somebody else added it by mistake. Either way, you want to clean it up and you want to merge them together so you do not lose your transactional details. So this is from an actual organization I work from, but I, their strategy was put old in there or sometimes people put inactive or do not use or whatever it is they put something in there but for me I that just looks sloppy whenever you do year-to-year -year comparisons you're gonna end up with these old ones showing up and it just uh, it just looks sloppy so there is a better way okay so here's my chart of accounts and I didn't actually have any duplicates so I had to make one up and so uh, 5503 was my original one telephone and technology and that's the one I also want to keep but I made a separate new one which I well, is my duplicate or my old one 5503A antivirus and I did actually move a transaction in here so I did a uh, a correction to a transaction and moved it over there so you can see I have a June 1st bill to Plastow and Associates who do an awesome job with our antivirus and that's who uh, so that's the transaction that I want to show you moves back over to the one I want to keep so 5503 is the one I want to keep so go ahead and go to that one and choose edit and you just want to take note of the what all the settings here and I'm going to copy the name because the name is the most important thing. So, and the number 5503, 5500 for the sub account and just go ahead and cancel out of that. So now the account I want to get rid of 5503A, go to edit and you see those settings are all the same. I'm going to go ahead and paste in the, the, that other account number. And I'm going to show you something first. So, that account number was 5503 that I wanted to keep and you're going to um, see that I, I'm going to do something incorrect. It says, do you want to merge these? I say yes. And it says something's not right. An account is already using that number. Please use a different number. So what I you have to do is just delete that number, delete that number and then everything else will go all right. So I'm gonna get save and close. I'm gonna get that same message. Yes, I would like to merge these two. And now we're gonna go ahead and go back to that. Scroll on down, 5503. So there it is, you can see 5503A is gone. Let's go ahead and run a report on that. And there you can go ahead and see, there's my June 1st bill from Plastow and Associates, and it's mixed in with my other bills from Plastow and Associates and Dakota's annual conference. So it is super quick, super easy. And uh, the, the only thing that caught me by surprise was that account number thing. All right, I think this was my shortest video, so but hopefully it's helpful. And if you did find this helpful, feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment, whatever. Um, I just appreciate being able to help you guys. Uh, and again, this is a ministry of the finance office of the Dakotas Conference of the UMC or the, and I guess, the Dakotas United Methodist Foundation. And you can find more of our stuff at our website, dakotasumz.org or dakotasumf.org. All right, till next time.